All right, boys, welcome back to the Black Clover Mobile video. And today, I want to go through how to clear through the actual blue dungeon for the gear farming. And this is by far probably the hardest one, I would say. Mainly because, well, we're not really given any really easy healers to cheese through it, right? Normally, you're bringing either Charmy in the red dungeon. Or maybe you're bringing Noel, which everyone should have by now, to easily clear through it. But you could also bring the red Mosa that everyone did get for free. With the blue one, there are no green healers. The only green healer is actually the Clover Academy Mimosa, who came out during Season 1, who's no longer available. So if you never got her, then... Well, this is going to be a little bit harder, but with this team right here and generally just some good green characters You should easily clear for it. These are all not free characters I mean the only free one technically is Vanessa and uh, yeah, I want to shine some light Vanessa. She's not too bad She's more or less a buffer character just to support your team uh, The thing with this boss fight or at least this stage here They do remove a lot of buffs and if you don't know how Raya works and especially with Radis as well He wants to have buffs on him So he does an uh, extra attack on the ultimate and also Radis does have a shield and if they buff remove the shield it's going to be quite annoying considering that this is actual ultimate effect right so uh yeah just kind of overwhelming everyone on our team with a bunch of buffs it can uh essentially act as a replacement before they do remove the shield but still the buff she does do is good increase defense and also endurance they increase defense radis also does so they don't overstack and also the ultimate is actually really good too you get total defense and also blessing of protection which is not really a healer type buff but you get a little bit of heals back which can be somewhat helpful she also increases accuracy and to be fair it kind of more acts like a little not a tank but sometimes you hit her and she can take a few hits before she does die even though i've barely even done anything towards the character and the gear i got on her is basically just my defensive speed set basically but i want to put the spotlight on real i think real would definitely let me clear through this on auto before i was using julius instead and to be fair real is kind of a good substitute they kind of almost do the same thing a little bit julius despite him being type neutral is actually good because he can get a guaranteed stun he can also re do some good AOE damage and Reset stamina, which no one can do, but with real, you know what? His actual skill one cooks. It actually does a lot of damage, I'm not gonna lie. And then his actual skill to reduce defense, remove buffs as well. It's uh, not the crazy AoE damage skill, but it's actually pretty good. But the ultimate is where he's at, right? Because he has a 4% chance to stun someone, and this is AoE. So, uh, yeah, this helps clear through a lot. I just done one run now, and we stun like two to one enemy each time we use a skill it's uh generally very very helpful uh the gear i have on him is my by far probably my best gear set just for magic attack to make him do a lot of damage of course radis is obviously our tank character but we've got a bit of defense attack onto him not the fallen speed set because i'm still working on it i'm trying to work on my radis a bit more here so we've only done the magic attack here and then same goes raya just got the magic attack on so we do maximum damage and for the gear just obviously standard speed attack defense set with obviously all attack based stats but yeah considering that this is all level 80 they barely even unlock their talents. And I haven't really got any accessories on them either. It's, you know, you can actually work in this team more, even work on other characters. And you can see on the rice and substitutes. People are apparently bringing SR Charmy, but like I use her, she gets taken down way too easy. Unless you got Radis Max use a little bit, he, he doesn't taunt, so I wouldn't really rely on uh, Charmy too much. Vatos can be a good support, maybe even better than Vanessa, just to buff up Rose damage to make an auto clear. And to be fair, the probably the only DPS you can use if you are truly free to play and have no other character will be SR. You know, he's not a bad character, and actually probably decent for this actual uh, dungeon. But yeah, getting incapacitate level two. Not the highest, but still pretty decent. Reduced defense on AoE as well. Kind of doing what Real was doing a little bit. And then having this single target skill that can do an extra attack on AoE is, uh, yeah, not actually too bad. But for me, there's no point investing into him when I have all these characters already. Radis is obviously the tank and kind of making us win a lot of games because of the actual shield he gives. So I do realize people may not have him. So who is a good substitute? Honestly, once again, not really that many substitutes. But as you can see, people are using Klaus. I haven't used Klaus at all because it's quite a lot to invest into and I can already clear it. But I know for myself when I was trying to clear through the blue dungeon, using Sekai actually carried me. So yeah, don't sleep on the actual uh, rare characters. They can help out a lot here. Always I do this when I'm farming just Ultima and also the tier 2 skills. We don't want the AI to use any of their combined attacks because the combined attacks are just waste and we want the ultimate skill off here. Especially important for Vanessa, Real. I mean everyone to be fair. Real gets the stun, she gets the defense, he gets the shield and Rai gets the big single target nuke. 
Obviously, Rai is probably the best DPS here because he does really good damage, AoE damage as well. But you could easily replace him with Licks. All right, so jumping in. Once again, this team is not really built up too much. We still are missing a bunch of talent. We're still missing, obviously, levels as well. So um, it is losable, right? But you can see right there, we had the ultimate from Real and we got the double stun here. And Rai just getting a nice little crit there to insta-kill the little uh, left rat. Uh, I would say the middle one's probably the most annoying one because he does actually stun after a few turns. So it's, uh, yeah, kind of annoying to deal with. But you you can see every single time they attack here, they are going to buff move. So kind of overwhelming your characters with uh, Vanessa's buffs is kind of good. Because then that means they're not going to remove this shield from Radis, which is obviously very, very nice here. Uh, good damage there. Okay, no stun. I think that might have been the stun skill. So we got lucky we didn't get stunned here. Okay, so we should kill here. Then go into phase two or wave two here. We have, I think, Radis ultimate. Almost. Okay, Rose ultimate. Can we get the stun here? No stun. Hate to see it. Okay, a little bit unfortunate, but it's still kind of fine. Good damage there. Didn't kill. Okay, that kill though. Okay, once again, the more buff removal was there. A lot of AoE damage. So it's kind of why Rose can... You kind of want to stun the real. Okay, we've got the shield on now. It's fine. Hopefully, we can recycle it back before next wave. Okay, not too much buff removal was here. Vanessa's ultimate. Blessing or protection onto real. He's max HP, so I don't actually... He's max HP, I don't actually know. Oh, so I don't know how, but Rook gets so much SP, bro. Alright, 7k there, loaded defense. Could do a lot of damage now. Should be dead. Okay, we're actually going to wave 3. With a lot of HP and also good ultimate levels right now. We're about to get Riot and Rose. Can we get the stun? Stun one of them. To be fair, he does AoE, so actually really good. And we almost cut the right one. Didn't crit there. That actually was a really good video crit. But you can see why Ro is so good. Kind of acts like Julius in a way. Maybe even better. The fact he's got two AoE skills and also a way to stun the whole team. Okay. Uh, but boys need to focus. Okay, there we go. Got the kill there. Yeah, Radis does a lot of damage to be fair. Okay, he's about to die there. I think the Mars skill pitch came clutch right now. 34k there. Actually pretty good. But then we got the shield off now, so... That should be a GG. So, yeah, this team, as you can see, is actually very, very good. Once again, it'll be even better when you max out even more. Like, once again, Radish is a really good character, especially for PvP. So, uh, going to be leveling him up, going to be maxing him out as well. Uh, probably doing Raya too, so this will make clearing so much easier. Uh, if anything, I'd say later on, I'll probably end up replacing Vanessa with probably a better DPS if I do get one. In fact, I think if I got licked, I she'd probably be the first to go. Even the actual swimsuit Vanessa that comes out probably in a few, uh, or probably this month, actually. Who knows? But yeah, after maxing your characters, you do get to a point where you don't really need to worry about defending or healing. You just have so much DPS that it's kind of a breeze. So, boys, hopefully this video did help out. So now you can start farming your crit set or maybe your HP set for your Charmy. So, boys, thank you for watching today's video. And, uh, yeah. <laughs>